So this is a detailed explanation of the setup of what I've got heating my hot tub. So I have three of these 405 watt solar panels. I have these other crappy 100 watt solar panels, um, which are, well, I have two on the back and two on the side here. They're crap, they don't really do work for me. They don't really do anything. I then have a further two 405 watt panels uh, that are down the side of my house catching the sun. Excuse the mess, but then I have two 12 volt leisure batteries wired up in a four, um, 24 volt configuration. And these are just from Halfords and they are just 12 volt, 115 amp hour batteries um, designed as leisure batteries. I then have two solar charge controllers one at um, 30 amps and one at 50 amps. Then I have this crappy legacy system. Don't ever buy the 100 watt uh, panels unless they're for a car project or something. So with those, I have these feeding into power my battery. You can see they are currently in bulk mode. So they're basically, we're using up all of the solar power at the moment coming into the system. Then I have a little uh, box here, junction box that I use just to uh, tidy up some wiring. And what I then have are these two uh, voltage controllers. So I have one set which links up to a uh, drum heater or a uh, immersion heater that is a 24 volt at 600 watts. And the other one is also linked up to that. So this one, these are currently uh, set that uh, one of these is on, one of them is off at the moment. So this one, it gets hooked up 27.5 volts, will kick off. Then for each of those uh, voltage controllers, I have a independent relay that is 24 volt, uh, 100 amp rated at continuous usage. And those trigger through to the circuit here. I have a 30 amp breaker, which I can toggle on and off if I want. Simply as just doing that and then turning it back on. Um, so that then goes down to my tank that is underneath these towels. This is purely just a drum that is 150 litres and is currently um, fill water and it's got copper piping in it. I'll explain this in two seconds. So back over here, we've got the two breakers. What we also have is a 12 volt buck converter. So in this case, what I'm converting is my 24 volts and I'm converting that into 12 volts. And there's two reasons I do that. And they are over here. So I have two sensors. Uh, these are temperature sensors. I have this uh, attached to the tank that measures the current temperature on the external of the drum. The same for this other one as well. And this is used to turn on a pump that is outside, uh, which I'll, I'll show you now. So outside here, I have just a switch that I can turn on and off, uh, but it's obviously controlled by the temperature. So when it reaches a certain uh, temperature, it will start to siphon the water out of the hot tub. I have a simple 12 volt um, pump, which is basically connected to the hot tub over there and comes up, feeds into that tank and cycles the water. So far, when I've been obviously not traveling uh, abroad, I've been able to get uh, well over 40 plus degrees out of the hot tub. So as it stands now, it is 47.2 degrees centigrade in that tank. I've currently set this to uh, only siphon at 60 degrees and we're starting to get some good evening sun. So uh, this will continue, uh, hopefully to get up to 60 tonight and then probably by tomorrow we'll have a hot, hot tub.